Hi everybody, welcome back. Today in our Yoga Lotties class, we're gonna do some yoga core work. So welcome you to come right down onto your mat. We're gonna get started right away. Starting in a Shavasana, we just want a few moments to connect with our breath, to connect with our mat. So just lay all the way out on your mat. Angle your feet a little wide so the heels are on each corner of your mat. Turn your palms towards the ceiling. Let your fingers soften in relaxation. And connect first with that breath. Connecting with breath just through awareness. Feeling it flow through the nostrils and down the back of your throat. Feeling it fill your lungs and expand your ribs. Lengthening each breath cycle. Matching your inhale to your exhale. And with that breath, find softness let your feet and your knees just fall to the side. Let your muscles in your joints soften and release. Feel the floor come up to support you as you prepare for your practice. On your next breath in, draw your feet together. Bring your knees towards your chest, hands to your knees with a little tuck. And when you inhale again, press through your heels and reach through your fingers, long through your body. Exhale to draw those knees in and tuck. Inhale to lengthen and reach. And this time when you draw the knees in and tuck, lift your head and shoulders, draw your knees to your nose. Inhale, lengthen and extend. Exhale. shoulders, hold the left knee in, extend the right leg out and let it just hover off the mat. Drawing that left knee tight, tight, tight. On an inhale, switch knees. Exhale to tuck that knee in tight. Inhale to switch and exhale to tuck. Inhale and exhale. If this bothers your neck to keep those head and shoulders lifted, you can rest your head right down onto the mat and finish off just two more of these. Now drawing that left knee in as well, tuck your knees to your nose and your nose to your knees. Unfold through the upper body to bring your head right down onto the mat. Lift the bottoms of your feet towards the ceiling, drop your hands to the mat, reach through the heels and slowly lower those legs down, controlling that descent through the strength in your abdominals. Nicely done, reach those arms out to the side, pointing your toes, draw your feet in and lift right up to the ceiling. Flex at the ankle, reach through the heel, circle wide with both legs and come right back down to the mat again. Inhale as you point your toes, draw the knees in and lift the feet up. Exhale, flex through the ankle, reach wide through the legs, circle round and back to the mat. As you draw those legs in, sink down, lower back into the mat. And as you circle those legs wide, roll onto your sacrum that flat bone of your pelvis. Inhale to come in, up. Exhale to flex and circle all the way around. Nicely done. Inhale to come in and lift. Flex through the ankle, circle all the way around. Roll to the sacrum, engage through that core. One more time, in, sinking through the lower back. Flex and circle. Roll onto that sacrum as the legs lower down. Draw knees into your chest, hands to your knees. Tuck your chin, lift your head and shoulders. Draw your knees to your nose and your nose to your knees. And then let those legs just fall away from your chest. We're going to start to roll forward and back. On the inhale, roll to your shoulders. And on the exhale, draw the belly in and let those feet lower down to the mat. 
I'm gonna count you down and after the countdown, we're gonna finish in a seated position with our feet off the floor. Two more. And here's your last one, holding right here, coming right into bow pose. So tuck your fingers behind your knees, flex your feet and lift your heels till they're even with your knees. Option number one. If you like, you can remove your hands in option one, or you can keep your hands there, point your toes and lengthen through the legs. Or you can take it all the way with the legs out to the side and the, or the legs fully extended and the arms out to the side. Lift through the chest, soften through the shoulders. Inhale and exhale. If this really bothers your tailbone, for some people, if there's been a post-injury there, it might be an issue, slide your hands back, roll to your sacrum and do your boat poses here. Take one more breath and boat. And then bring your hands back. We're gonna come down, feet onto the mat with toes pointed, lift your hips towards the ceiling, release your breath. Take another breath here and lift those hips a little higher, release your breath. And then inhale to lower all the way down. Slide your feet in, find that position of boat that's going to work best for you and hold it here for three breaths. One more breath. Use that breath to find your strength and release. Hands come behind you, feet lower to the mat. Inhale to lift those hips. Reverse plank. Release your breath. Inhale again, lift those hips a little higher. Release your breath. And then inhale to lower down. One more set. Draw the knees in. Find that position for your boat that works best for you. And hold. Three breaths. Lifted through the lower back. Open through that heart space. Long through your spine. One more breath here. Nicely done. Those hands are going to come down and slide back. Lower your feet to the mat. Inhale to lift your hips into reverse plank. Release your breath. Inhale again to lift those hips a little bit higher. And then lower all the way down. Nicely done. We're going to plant our feet onto the mat. Push from behind to bring your fingertips onto the mat in front. Lifting your hips, step your feet between your hands and inhale to bring those arms all the way up. On the exhale, swan dive forward, sweep the floor and then slide your hands up in a halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, stepping one foot at a time to the back of the mat, finding that downward facing dog. And on an inhale, lift to your toes, rock forward to a plank, straight line, shoulders, hips and heels and either from your toes or from your knees, tuck your elbows, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale through, upward facing dog. And on the exhale, come back to your downward facing dog. Reaching long through the fingertips and digging them into the mat. Softening through the neck, drawing the shoulders from the ears, sinking the heels and lifting through the tailbone. Lift your gaze between your hands. Step forward one foot at a time, pushing off with the other foot to bring those feet side by side. Inhale up. And on this exhale, come right into your chair pose, reaching those arms in front, sinking back through the hips towards the heels, opening that heart space between your arms, lifting your gaze just slightly, maybe to where the wall meets the ceiling, keeping those knees in a nice line. Don't allow one to jut out in front of the other. A breath here and as you exhale see if you can sink a little deeper hold here for another breath on this exhale roll up onto your toes dig those toes into the mat hold for a breath and as you exhale slowly come all the way up releasing those arms to the side step your feet together so your toes are touching and your heels are a little bit apart inhale up hands come together in prayer exhale down and reach those arms in front we're gonna draw the arms back, placing the elbow on the knee, checking that the knees are in line. Create a little tension between those palms. 
find a nice straight line from one elbow to the other. Bring your gaze to that lifted elbow and allow your hips to sink towards the mat. Your tailbone to reach towards that back end of your mat. And breathe. Embrace the trembling. On an inhale, come back to center. Exhale, stand tall, sweep the arms all the way up, lower down to your side. Take a step apart, hip width, inhale and lift. Exhale and swan dive all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold out over those legs. The inhale brings your feet to the back of the mat, visiting briefly in your downward facing dog. Inhale to your toes, find plank. Exhale, tuck elbows, lower to hover. Inhale through, upward facing dog. And on the exhale, roll through the toes, lift through the hips, downward dog. Bring your gaze between your hands. Step forward one foot, press off the back foot to bring your feet together. Inhale and lift. Exhale right into your chair, reach those arms in front. Check that those knees are in line. Don't let one jut in front of the other. Soften your hips towards the back of the mat. Take a breath and roll to your toes. Draw your belly in, glide your rib cage down. Lift your gaze to where the wall meets the ceiling. Hold for another breath here, and then stand tall and sweep those arms to the side. Toes are touching, heels are apart. Inhale up. Hand in prayer, lower down to your heart center. Bending through the knees, reach those arms in front. And then draw those arms in, place the opposite elbow onto knee. Check that your knees stay in line, one doesn't jut in front of the other. Create that tension between your palms. Find that straight line, one elbow to the other. Then lift your gaze to the lifted elbow. On your next exhale, can you sink those hips a little deeper? Can you lift your toes and sink your weight into your heels? Inhale to center. Stand tall, reach those arms all the way up. Bring them all the way down to your side. Step your feet apart. Inhale and swan dive. Inhale to slide those fingers up your shins in a halfway lift. Exhale, tuck your chin and fold right out over those legs. Step back one foot at a time to your downward facing dog. Inhale to your toes and rock forward. Either from your toes or from your knees, lower down to hover, chaturanga. Inhale through, upward facing dog. Lift the hips, roll through the toes, downward dog again. And then inhaling here to your toes, rock forward again to plank. And again, from your toes or from your knees, we're gonna lower down to the mat, but this time all the way down to contact the mat. Lift so that you can place your elbows underneath your shoulders. Sphinx pose. Draw the belly in so that you're not softening your belly into the mat. The belly button draws in, the lower back flattens a little bit, and the belly lifts away from the floor. Pull your shoulders away from your ears and lengthen through the neck. You can keep your hands here in um, sphinx pose, flat on the mat, or you can bring your hands together. Play around with it and see which works best for your practice. We're gonna transition between sphinx and dolphin pose. So right here, I'm gonna ask you to turn your toes under, make sure those elbows are tucked under your shoulders and lift right into a low plank. Your belly draws in, the tailbone points towards your heels and you've found that nice straight line, shoulders, hips and heels. Take a breath to lengthen through the spine and when you exhale, lift your hips, lower forehead to mat. Inhale, coming back. Exhale, lift your hips, forehead to the mat. Inhale, back. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. When you exhale, 
exhale, make sure the belly draws in and the rib cage glides down. You don't want the rib cage to flare as you're coming into your dolphin. And on the inhale, lengthen through your spine, pull back through your shoulders. Exhale, lowering the head and lifting the hips. One more here. Exhale. And inhale. Nicely done. Lower all the way down onto the mat. Slide those hands under your shoulders. Come into a cobra where your hips stay on the mat. Your heart space opens to the front of the room. Your gaze lifts towards the ceiling. And then push a little further away, straightening those arms so the hips just come off the floor, but you're still engaged with your thighs on the mat, really lengthening through those abdominal legs. And then pushing a little further, lift up to the tops of your feet, a little bit more arch through your spine on this one, but a nice opening through those abdominals. And then lifting through the hips, roll through the toes, come right into your downward facing dog. Lift onto the toes, rock forward to plank. Nice straight line. Exhale to downward dog. Lift to your toes, rock forward to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two more like that. Inhale and exhale. One more here. Inhale and exhale. Nicely done. We're gonna come one more time back into that plank. But this time in plank, spread your feet to the outside edges of the mat. Bring your hands to the center so that when your fingers spread wide, your, toe, your toes, your thumbs are almost touching. And we're gonna do opposite shoulder taps. And when we touch opposite shoulders, our body stays completely still. So slow it down, draw the belly in. Glide the rib cage down. Stay level between the shoulders and the hips as you touch opposite shoulders, holding your body super still. Do one more to each shoulder. And then lift through the hips, sink through the heels. Wide-legged, downward facing dog. Soften through the neck. Lengthen through the spine. Inhale forward to plank. Draw the belly in. Glide the rib cage down. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Opposite shoulder taps. We said we were going to work our core. And remembering that our core is really from our shoulders to our knees. I think we've done. Two more here. Push away from the mat, lift through the hips, sink down into your wide-legged downward dog. Lengthen through the spine. Lift through the tailbone. Rock forward to plank. One more set here. Belly draws in. Rib cage glides down, shoulders draw away from the ears, tap. Take your time. It's not about how many taps you get in to the set. It's all about the quality of the movement. And the quality of this movement improves the less movement there is. Tap. Tap. Just make sure you keep breathing on this one. Unlike some of our other movement postures, there's really specific breathing patterns with the movement. On this one, I just want you to breathe. Let's do two more. Nicely done. Rest back into that downward facing dog. Allow your head to hang, your shoulders to pull away from your ears, your chest to fall back, Tailbone lifts and heels sink. Step your feet together. Come 
down to your knees. Sink back to a child's pose. In your child's pose, your head should be supported. So if it comfortably reaches the floor, that can be your support. If not, stack the hands or stack your fists. The support of your head allows your neck, your shoulders, and your upper back to soften, to relax, and to release as you hold your child's pose. If your hips kind of linger up in the air in your child's pose, grab a cushion and just tuck it across your calves and let your hips kind of settle in, the back of your thighs settle into that cushion, allowing a little bit of support as you continue to stretch through those lower back and glute muscles and find that length that brings those hips a little bit lower. A softness through your arms allows those elbows to rest onto the mat. your next breath, lift your head and walk your fingers forward. We're going to rock forward one more time, opening that heart space between our arms, sinking those hips towards the floor and lifting our gaze to the ceiling. Draw the shoulders away, lengthen through the neck and then cross your ankles and sit back. Just in a comfortable seated position, I'm going to move into the center of the mat. So comfortable seated position. You, you can have that loose comfortable position with your legs. You can extend those legs out in front if that works better for you or you can stack one leg on top of the other. Sit right up onto those sits bones. Inhale those arms up and overhead. Exhale to your left sweeping that right arm alongside your ear and lifting your gaze to the ceiling. On an inhale, sweep the right arm over, lengthen and extend through the left and lift your gaze towards the ceiling. Inhale again to bring both those arms all the way up and overhead. On your exhale, twist one hand behind, one to the knee. Inhale, arms up. Exhale and twist. Inhale, arms up. Exhale and fold forward. Hands come down onto the mat, fingers walk forward forward, round through your spine, tuck your chin, soften over those bent legs, and then let the hands slide as you unfold to come all the way up. Extend your right leg out in front, cross your left foot over, line up that knee to the midline of your body, wrap the arm around, pull your shoulder to stack over that knee, and take the left hand behind your back. As you inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine. And when you exhale, twist a little further. Inhale again to lift and lengthen through that spine. And when you exhale this time, see if you can turn and look towards that back wall. Take one more breath here. And as you exhale, come all the way around. Gentle little peek over the other side and back to center. We're gonna lift that foot. Wrap the lower leg with your arms or hold on at the ankle and at the knee. Whichever version you pick, you wanna lift through the lower back, right up onto those sits bones. Open through the heart space and draw that leg towards you. Right through the gut. And release. Bring that left leg all the way out and cross the left foot over. Draw that knee down the midline of your body. Wrap that left arm around and take the right hand behind your back. Push into the floor as you inhale to lift and lengthen through the spine. And when you exhale, draw that shoulder to line up with your knee. Take another breath here to lift and lengthen. And when you exhale, twist a little more. Inhale here. And when you exhale, see if you can twist around and look towards that back wall. On an inhale, come back around. Just a little peek over the other shoulder. And then back to center. 
lifting that leg. You can hold on at the ankle and at the knee, or you can wrap your forearms around that lower leg. Lift through the lower back, right to the sits bones. Open through the heart space and lengthen through the spine and draw that leg towards you. Pull back on the toes on that extended leg. Keep that leg active and engaged as we open up through the hip in a version of seated pigeon. release that foot. You want to tuck that foot right in by your knee. Draw the other foot up so the bottoms of your feet are together. Lift through the heart and roll up onto your sits bones as those knees drop to the side. So if you don't have great range of motion in this position, if your knees tend to be up a little bit, take a block. Sit on the block and it allows your hips to open up a little bit more. Reach wherever you can on your leg. So it may be at the shins, you may get down to your ankle and then pull forward with your chest, lifting your heart, lengthening your spine. And when you exhale, just soften forward. It's not a big lean into the stretch. We're not rounding through the spine. The spine stays long and tall on the inhale. And on the exhale, feel your tailbone tip towards that back wall. Nicely done. Inhale again, find length through the spine, softness through the shoulders. And when you exhale, tip again that tailbone towards the back of your mat. One more just like that. Keeping that back long and flat, soften the shoulders. Exhale, subtle, subtle movement as you soften forward. Nicely done. And then bring your hands down onto the mat. Tuck your chin round through your shoulders, and as you slide your hands forward, just fold out over those legs. Wherever you are in your practice, that's where you're supposed to be. You'll feel tension through those inner thigh adductor muscles as we hold this butterfly pose. That's exactly what we're supposed to feel. On an inhale, let your hands slide as you start to unfold. Take your hands behind you with tented fingers, push away from the floor to bring length to your spine, and just add a little bounce to that butterfly pose. Nicely done. Beautiful. And hold. We're going to extend that right foot out in front and take our hand to the top of that left foot Place your right hand on the mat, draw that knee back, and then twist through the torso to look at that right hand as you draw the foot towards your body, bringing length to the hip flexor and the quadricep, right from that hip bone down to the knee. Long through the spine, soft through the shoulders, drawing in through that foot. And release, coming all the way back. Extend that leg out in front. We're going to hold on to the top of that right foot. Place the left hand on the floor and then draw that knee back so that when we twist to look at that left hand, automatically feel that stretch come into that quadricep. Then draw that foot towards you and drop through the hip. So the stretch comes right from the hip bone down to the knee, hip flexor, and quadricep. And release. Extend that leg all the way out in front. You can do a little walk forward, lift those arms in front, take a big breath, and as you exhale, draw the belly in, round through the spine, control through that flat bone of your pelvis. When you feel that first vertebrae touch down, unfold one at a time, bring those arms all the way up and overhead. Nicely done. Inhale to lift those fingertips to the ceiling. Tuck your chin and lift head and shoulders. On the exhale, rolling up, pressing through the heels, reaching for the toes and with a flat back, soften forward. One more time, inhale. Exhale as you roll back. Control the descent through that flat bone of your pelvis. Take another breath as you need it. Feel one vertebrae at a time touching down on the mat. 
When the head touches down, release through the neck and let the arms come right overhead. Inhale, fingertips to the ceiling, tuck your chin, lift head and shoulders. On the exhale, peel away from the mat, press through the heels, reach for the toes or maybe the shins, and just pull yourself forward with that nice flat back. Inhale, become tall, nicely done, arms come overhead. And exhale all the way down, crossing those legs in front, a comfortable loose cross, one leg straight, one leg bent, wherever you feel comfort and release. Find a softness in your shoulders. Let your arms float overhead. Bring your hands into prayer. Slowly lower down into that heart space. The divine energy in me bows to and acknowledges the divine energy in each of you. Namaste.